This is John Morton, folks. He played in The Empire Strikes Back. Well, Luke, we've got a malfunction in fire control. He played two characters, actually. When Jeremy Bullock was taking um, a couple of days off to do another shoot, uh, I was able to stand in for him, which is what you're, you're talking about when I did two days as Boba Fett. There's more and more people coming out of the sort of woodwork that have actually stepped into that role. Do you have any sort of Boba Fett club where you get together and have a bit of a reunion? No, but this seems to be, I mean, this, uh, this is kind of an interesting phenomenon. Um, the first show I did was in Hackensack, New Jersey uh, in 1997, and one guy came up to me and asked for a Boba Fett signature. And I said to him, eh, I'm not Boba Fett, I'm Dak. And he said, but you played Boba Fett for a couple of days. And I said, no, 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 but Jeremy Bullock is Boba Fett, to give you an example. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, you go over to Jeremy and you tell him that you want my autograph. And if Jeremy says it's okay, I'll do it. So he went over and Jeremy kind of gave me a high sign and, you know, I, I signed. Now... I notice that the organizers here have Jeremy, and then there's Dickie Beers, and there's me, and there's Alan Harris, and so we're all lined up here, and so this is kind of a, a one-shot deal for Boba Fett. Um, I think it's a fan-driven thing, I have to be honest. The, the fans, for whatever reason, because they really are, they, they get down into the minutiae of Star Wars trivia, it's kind of like, well... I got John Morton's autograph, or I got Dickie's. Uh, you know, they they were a part of Boba Fett too. Oh well, I better do that too. So I think, as is so many things with Star Wars, the fans said that's what they want, and so okay, the organizers and Lucas is 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 making that possible. The credit to Jeremy is that he. I'm looking at him right now as I'm speaking across you. I mean, he is such a generous spirited guy. I've known him really since since that time that he's not phased by it and that in itself is a tribute to the whole culture that, that George and, and, and the people behind the, the, the series have generated you know this is this is all about the fans George's vision translated to the fans the fans are taking it over and and, and moving the ball along